G'day there, I'm Richard from the MYOB team. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can get your payday filing sorted using MYOB ACE Payroll. First off, it's a really good idea to set up your ACE Payroll software to automatically create the new employment information return once you've completed your pay run. It's really easy to get that sorted and I'll show you how now. All I want you to do is come across here to Company Defaults and click on that. That'll bring up this wee window and over here you're going to click IRD Return Setup. And right down the bottom of the setup menu here, you've got create payday files after a pay is filed. Now currently it's set to no, but we want to change that to yes. So come across here to the left, click on the keyboard icon. And look at that, here we go, yes. Which is going to be really handy. This is going to make payday filing much quicker for you each time you do a pay run. Then we want to just head back out to the main screen by clicking on OK. And we're ready to go. So the payday filing process and generating your employment information return for the IR is pretty straightforward from this point on. So work through the pay run process as you normally would. First of all, we're going to click on Calculate Pays and enter all the hours for that week. I've done this already because this is just a demo. Then we're going to look at the management report. You can print this off if necessary. Now if you're happy with the figures in the management report, you can continue to produce pay slips, either printing or emailing out the pay slips down here. Got that? Good stuff. Now you're going to click on Make Payment, and this is going to create the direct credit schedule to send to the bank. We always recommend backing up your files. Really, really important to keep a safe, secure copy of that data, especially in this day and age. Make sure you get into the habit of backing up your data every time you update it, so let's do that now. And once we've got everything backed up, as we should do every time, then you've got to click on File Regular Pay down here. And that brings me through to the regular payroll checklist. This is as it always was, nothing's changed here. Now I'm happy with everything, so I'm going to hit the Go button. Here's your opportunity to do one final check. This is the final confirmation screen. Now take a look at what you get on screen here, and if you're happy with everything, just click on Go. This will bring up another little window telling you that your filing has been completed. So just click on OK. Remember, you'll only see this employment information return screen pop up automatically if you've gone through your IRD return setup and changed it to do so. You'll see the names of the employees down the left hand side over here. Got that. And you've got all the various deductions going across the screen to the right. Now it's a good idea to run your eyes over the figures on the screen. Absolutely no harm in checking them again. Now assuming you're all good with the figures you see here on screen, it's time to click on Electronic File. This will create the electronic file that you'll need to upload to the Inland Revenue. You'll see up near the top of the window here it says, after clicking Go, your data is checked for errors. Assuming there are no data errors, you'll see where your employment information return will be saved. This is the file pathway here. Now the file pathway should look familiar, it's the normal ACE payroll default location. The file name will start with EI underscore return. This will make it easier to find it if you need to locate one of the returns in the default folder in future. You can of course make it easier for yourself and that's always a good idea. We recommend changing the default folder for your EI returns. You can do this by going into the report section, selecting IRD returns, then return setup, and this is where you can change the file path. If you have any trouble with that, you can always give the support team a call and they'll take you through it step by step. We want to keep on going, so I'm going to click on Go. This will bring up another window with the file details for your employment information return. Now at this point, if you're not looking to upload it to the IR right away, you can click on OK, just over here on the left, or you can click on this link over here on the right to the IR and go through the process of uploading your employment information return via your business's My IR account. For now though, I'm just going to click on OK. So there you have it, that's how you do payday filing and MYOB ACE Payroll. I hope you found that demo useful. As always, if you've got any questions at all, you're welcome to give us a call on 0508 32 or you can ring 0800 223 729. We're here to help. Talk soon.